Hello, this video will show you the typical issue that will cause an invalid column index exception. As you can see, there's an exception on line 29. So on line 29, is complaining about the input parameter index. If you look at this SQL statement, there is only one input parameter, so the index is incorrect. So let's fix that. And let's try it again. Okay, it's complaining on the same line again. We know the input parameter has fixed. So what is the issue? So, so the issue is on the prepare statement. The prepare statement has a select statement to retrieve the employee ID, email, and salary from the employees table using the email address. For example, this is how you would retrieve it. Notice we have single quotes here and you need it when you're running the SQL statement. However, in the prepare statement, you do not need it. So let's remove it and try it again. Okay, so this time it's complaining about line 34. So if you notice, there are three output parameters employee ID email and salary and here we're entering the wrong invalid index so it should be one two and three so this should resolve it okay I hope this helps so basically there are three issues the first one is the input parameter index the second is for string you don't put single quotes in the prepare statement and the third is in the output parameter just make sure you have the right index there as well okay i hope this video helped you